डियर व्यूअर्स एंड सब्सक्राइबर वेलकम अगेन टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल मैक्स दी सर्विस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू रिसीव ऑल नोटिफिकेशन रिगार्डिंग एनी वीडियो वी आर अपलोडिंग ऑन दिस चैनल इन लास्ट वीडियो गाइज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू क्रिएट एंगुलर ऐप वी क्रिएटेड एंगुलर ऐप विद लेटेस्ट वर्जन विच इज नाइनटीन एंड ऑल्सो वी गॉड लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ नोड एन पी एम सी एल आई एंड एंगुलर इट सेल्फ प्लीज स्टे ट्यून एंड सब्सक्राइब इफ यू नॉट एंड सी हाउ वी कैन डॉक राइज आवर फर्स्ट एंगुलर एप्लीकेशन ओके गाइज मोस्ट ऑफ द डेवलपर्स इवन वॉन्डर्ड हाउ टू डक राइज योर एंगुलर एप्लीकेशन एक्चुअली आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर यू क्विक स्टेप्स आई एम ट्राइंग टू गाइड यू टू कंटेनराइजेशन containerizing your angular application with docker so in this uh, session we will use docker file and in next video we will use docker compose to compose all these services like uh, demo already we have with the mysql and uh, uh, spring boot and this angular demo ui in last session we have uh, done how to uh, create our first angular application we have completed in last video with the continuity that last videos we are going to dockerize our first angular application we will go step by step and i will explain every inst instruction made in the order of to make it is simple as it is uh, for you from setting a multi state docker file also in this video we will discover the docker commands used to build and check the status of the container before begin let's assume you are uh, already have docker installed <coughs> to check that i will check docker yes we have docker installed and uh, we also uh, have many videos on how docker works how docker compose works we have done videos on docker image we must understand the docker concept we must know javascript angular basics as one okay as well you might want to check out my previous uh, videos i have explained docker file image and container 100% it is explained very well all those are great videos uh, i have Uh, many subscribers are supporting me uh, and also they have uh, subscribed for more videos and that's why i'm going to create uh, every new video with more concept with enhancement and uh, guys you know that we are going to complete devops series and under devops uh, many uh, concept and steps we are going to complete our uh, last uh, long series full tutorial was about github and git and this is what going to uh, we are going to complete devops with dockerization and containerization concept so first of all to dockerize uh, angular application we must have docker file uh, we have covered in last session and for that we must use from actually we need to mention our base image and now i am going to uh, mention node uh, definitely we are going to uh, build this image from node node will be our base image and uh, we must check which version of node we are using it's at 20 215 and 1 as as build okay okay then i am going to uh, specify the work directory work directory what work directory we have actually we have like here let me show you under ui which work directory we have it's a dist and uh, under dist we have source yeah app we have app you must we must specify app here yeah what is saying uh quick fix duplicate name okay okay then uh, then we have work directory and then we must specify uh, um, i want to copy what i want to copy current to destination 
I don't want to copy um, like uh, uh, any specific folder or specific file to specific folder specific file. So all whatever on current under app we have, I will be copying on the a current location of our Docker. Okay, then uh, I must be specifying before that copy uh, package. Under package, we have package lock and package JSON. So that's why I'm going to provide here JSON under current directory of the container. Then uh, after copying, I will run command because when I have uh, package.json, I will run command. Uh, after, okay. Uh, copies the package.json and uh, package log.json files from your local directory where the docker file is uh, to the app directory in the container. Then uh, this is the super clear. It is simply installs the dependency specified in the package.json file. So the command is npm install. Okay. Okay. After that, uh, I will be uh, using run npm install g global angular cli since this is angular app uh, we definitely need to install the angular cli globally within the container uh, i mean in within a container we can execute uh, uh, any command related to npm install, npm upgrade, npm, whatever regard related to npm, we can execute command there. If we ignore this one, then it not be possible to execute command there as well. So uh, this allows running Angular CLI command like ng from any directory. Okay, then I will be copying all the stuff from current directory to uh, destination. Then I will be using run ng build <coughs> configuration like I can uh, provide here uh, production or any dev quality uh, since we have successfully installed angular CI let's execute this command to build the angular application in production mode the resulting output will be stored in the disk directory distribution directory okay after running this okay then oh, i have final command cmd here will be ng and uh, ng serve then i have uh, host and then we have port current port okay okay guys so this is what I need to uh, run all of these commands uh, uh, we will definitely be using nginx server proxy server and then we will be exposing different port and because we know angular application run on default uh, 4200 ports and uh, now uh, we need to build this uh, docker image guys now one main point which I want to uh, raise here most of the time we forget to build please don't forget to run build first because uh, uh, while copying from current directory to the current container directory there must be build available so that's why you must run ng sorry ng build a 
application generation complete okay uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, built successful demo ui and now if we, before dockerization uh, let me show you it is working fine uh, sir yeah if i click uh, here it will be uh -huh. yeah okay okay if i click here I will be able to show that my application is running as it now I'm going to uh, just because we have configured we have uh, implement all the uh, settings related to docker file I have explained every command very well now I'm going to stop this and going to run docker build build Mm, dash t and then we have like uh, name of image ui and latest it's a version whatever you can provide now it is started to build an image here you can see it is copying from current directory and then it is running npm install on container so that every uh, angular cli must be available on container you can also run commands go into the container and you can start working like this environment we are working on local Okay, again after installing angular CLI then definitely you will be able to run npm install it exporting to image exporting layer Ooh, great now images is available we can check like docker docker images great here we have a demo UI then we are going to run as a container docker run t then dash p we are going to expose 4200 host 4200 as well image name is demo ui okay now yeah guys here you can see you don't see anything uh, because it is the attached mode okay when you will uh, run this command docker run uh, this command to run the docker container actually then we have uh, dash d dash d this flag stands for detached mode it means the container will run into the background and the terminal will be free of and ours uh, we can furthermore go start working with this and then we have uh, uh, port uh, 4200 okay this is export port and this is host port and uh, angular default host port is 4200 and we also export 4200 we can also uh, within a this range uh, we can mention any any else if we have more than one uh, angular application running then definitely same port will not be allowed and then at the end we have the image name so let let's go and see either it is working or not great you are also you can see that we have the same results we have containerize our angular application and also let me show you with the docker desktop here you can see here is image with latest version and also here we have container it's a default name we, we can also name a container if we stop this one and delete then you will not be able to running this application anymore okay now i am going to name this container t 
the command is run name demo container okay now you will be able to see the website up again okay give it few minutes yeah here is up again and here you can see demo container available up and running so guys uh, in this video we have done how to dockerize containerize our angular application and in next video we will be using docker compose okay here is docker compose will be working uh, <coughs> sorry yeah here we have docker compose and i will be using this docker compose i will be adding uh, angular application here and this docker compose will execute all the services like uh, code demo database mysql and this angular then we will be able to run full stack application and we will be using this angular front end to access our core and our core will be uh, uh, access and data from the database i will show you the architecture diagram uh, when we will be start uh, working like that okay guys thank you okay please subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed yet and also do like share in your circle these videos and also provide your valuable comments and uh, i hope you will be liking and sharing uh, so that i will be continuing with rest of the uh, technologies and tools sharing with you thanks